The purpose of this video is, to show you the functionality, of simple traffic light control system, using the Arduino Mega, 2560 development board. The project overview. This is a simple educational, traffic signal controller project, using an Arduino Mega, 2560 development board. The hardware structure of the project, is a model of four, east-west streets, intersecting with a north-south main street. I have used, eight traffic light boxes, each with three light indicators, and a one, two digits countdown meter, plus a two, 16 character LCD. I have used a total of five wires, to send, and receive data, between the Arduino's output ports, main board, and all related traffic light boxes, installed on the four intersections, of the prototype system, in a daisy chain fashion, plus the two, plus five, and ground power supply wires. By incorporating the daisy chain technique, I can add many more traffic boxes, to the system in future easily, if a need arises. See Figure 1. The LCD board of the system, consists of six push-button switches, plus a two, 16-character display. By using the three push buttons, located on the left side of the board, a user can set the time, and date of the system, or with the three push buttons, located at the bottom of the board, a user can put the system, on emergency mode, or calculate the speed of a car. Any driver, traveling along the main street, within the speed limit of 30 km per hour, receives a green signal light, at each intersection. The two push buttons, speed begin, and speed end, are integrated on the LCD board, to simulate two IR sensors, and to calculate the speed of any passing car, based on a predefined distance of 100, using the speed equation. In the video, notice that, when the user activates, the speed calculating feature of the system, by pressing speed begin, and next pressing the speed end push button, after about 7.8 seconds, the system calculates the speed as, 46 km per hour. So on the LCD screen, the system generates speed equals, 46 km per hour, over limit warning. With the same way of calculation, speed for 13.9 seconds, is equal to 26 km per hour, with comparing it with, legal 30 km per hour speed limit, system issues, under limit note, this time. To set the system's time and date, user can depress the set button, to switch the setting mode, to change values for hour, minute, second, month, and the year. The two other buttons, can be used, to increase, or decrease, each related value. Notice that, system's current time and date, is set to 16, 52 minutes, and 1 second, and 6, 27, 2014 respectively. By pressing the EM push button, the system is set, to simulate the emergency mode, in which all lights on the main, south-north road, and the east-west roads, start flickering yellow and red respectively. By repressing the EM button, the system goes back, to its regular mode of operation. Also every day, from time 0 a.m., to 7 a.m., system operates on its emergency mode automatically. The ebook for this title, is prepared in two chapters, and 51 pages. It explains, the detail of the system hardware, and software. All main control program solutions, are prepared in C language for both at Mega 8, 
microcontroller, and the Arduino Mega 2560 development board. You receive all these software solutions upon the purchase of the ebook, and you will not need to develop any code to get the project running. Chapter 1 explains the project's specification, the detailed explanation of all schematics related to the system hardware implemented in this project for at Mega 8 microcontroller. The topics related to the speedometer, IR sensor, time and date display PCBs are fully explained, and finally, a complete explanation of the control code generated in C language for at Mega 8 microcontroller is given. Chapter 2 explains the developing process of the hardware and software generated for the same project, but this time implementing the Arduino Mega 2560 development board in detail to construct the same project. Topics related to the redesign of stoplight boards, the speedometer display board, the main LCD display board, etc. are all investigated in this chapter. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then click subscribe and like buttons below and share it with your friends. Also, tell us your opinion on this video in the comment section below.